Welcome to ESR Technologies Introduction to Scenario Definition, part of our Understanding Major Accident Hazard series. In this video, we'll be looking at why we need to define scenarios, what methods are available to define them, some consideration when defining scenarios, and also an example of when failure to identify a scenario led to a major accident. Scenarios are a way of defining how a hazard can result in harm to a vulnerable target, such as people, property or the environment. Scenarios allow specific credible situations to be examined in terms of how a hazard can be realised and how it can be prevented from reaching its ultimate consequences, with consideration of the reasons why prevention measures may succeed or fail. In this module, we are most concerned with the scenarios that result in major accidents. The identification of how things can go wrong is an important stage of the risk assessment process, as accidents can only be prevented by anticipating how they can occur. Identification methods are typically analytical, but not exclusively. Common methods for identifying scenarios are hazard and operability HAZOP studies, where a series of what-if questions are posed to a team to determine if a specific cause or failure can result in hazards, and if so, what safeguards are available to prevent any significant consequences. Similarly, Failure Mode Effect Analysis FMEA, examines all potential failure modes of a piece of equipment to determine what the effects on the system are. Fault trees and event trees may be combined to form bow ties around a central event such as loss of containment. These are particularly useful for identifying safety critical barriers, which may stop the scenario progressing. A consideration for all the analytical methods is how to ensure you have the right mix of experience within the team to be able to identify all the credible causes, including not just design knowledge, but operational experience for the equipment being studied or similar equipment. Consideration should also be given to not just hardware failure, but also the range of human error that may give rise to a major accident. These are not limited to simple operational failures, but may also involve systemic or management system failures, as these have been the source of numerous major accidents. Any significant consequence from a scenario should be prevented by layers of protection. These safeguards cannot be considered as perfectly reliable, and so failure of safeguards must be considered, along with the questions of, are more safeguards required? The incident at the Gmeza works at Cerveso followed an interruption to production, a loss of cooling, and a runaway reaction which resulted in a bursting disc relieving pressure to atmosphere, releasing an estimated 30 kilograms of dioxin to the environment. The bursting disc was set to guard against excessive pressure when transferring materials to the reactor. Had a bursting disc with a lower set pressure been installed, venting would have occurred at a lower, less hazardous temperature, preventing the formation of dioxin. Failure to recognise this scenario as a major accident and take appropriate preventative measures led to injuries to 447 people and a major environmental impact and aftermath of which is still being dealt with today. ESR technology has been developing training programmes for over 20 years. All of our training is delivered by experts based on their operational and regulatory experience. We are able to offer first-hand experience of state-of-the-art tools and techniques at a level to meet your training requirements. Training is available as full course or individual training modules, modular live webinars, or on-demand tutorials. For further information, please visit our website or contact Terry Atkinson at esrtechnology.com.